All right, I just want to ask this. Are people still talking about this game? No, like, seriously, ever since Game Builder Garage came out, although I have seen a lot of people make some great stuff about it, it hasn't really gotten that much attention, much like Mario Maker. And honestly, that's kind of sad, but I could see why there's not really that much to do, especially when there's only, like, 512 nodes that you can use. There's only so much you could do with that many nodes. I wish they kind of doubled or possibly tripled it, but I'm pretty sure that's never going to happen, and I think this is just a one-and-done thing Nintendo's going to do. But that's not going to stop me from having fun with it. So today, I wanted to look through all of the stuff that people have created uh, related to Game Builder Garage and put them all into one video. And trust me, this is going to be pretty fun. This is going to be interesting. Now, most of these, actually almost all of them are recreations, but I do want to go through one original game that I found that I thought was pretty interesting called Super Mario Isle. I've actually never got to play this until now, so let's see. Ooh. Uh, um, okay. Oh yeah, that's the one thing I do not like about Game Builder Garage is that you barely have any control of your movement after you jump. But that's not the creator's fault. He was just trying his hardest. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Oh man, I, I really like the graphics. Ah! <laughs> okay then. Oh god, fireball. No, no, I don't want to die. I don't want to- No! Oh, God. That is a lot of note-ons. Now, originally, I wanted this video to be another submitted by viewers thing in which uh, viewers were able to submit their stuff through a Twitter thread. However, because there wasn't really that many submissions, I decided to retire it and make this video. But I will do the two submissions that were there when I still had it up at the time. The first one coming from my boy Reggie247, and this one is a little recreation of my game, Nessie the NES Robot. It's not a recreation, but it is like an engine thing that he did, and apparently he added some of my sprites to the game. Um, oh, oh wow! Oh wow, he actually added the walking animation, that's cute. And the jumping animation. Holy sh**, this is great. Great job, Richie, I'm actually kind of impressed by this. All right, that gets a pass, I'll keep that, that's adorable. So the next one was submitted by a person named Crispy Boy, and it's a recreation of one of the Mario vs. Donkey Kong levels, and... Ooh. Okay, we have a, a little bit better control with the jumping, that's nice. Oh, this is neat. Oh, no. Okay, hold up to climb ladders. Oh, oh, there we go. Oh, wow. Check out the background. Oh, let's see, we got Parallax scrolling to it. Come on. Yep, there we go. I've actually never played the first Mario vs. Donkey Kong, so this is actually very interesting. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, please, please. No. Okay, watch out for the oil things. That's cool. And that'll be it for this. And there we go. Speaking of Donkey Kong, the Donkey Kong 25 meter stage recreation. Oh, it even has the music. That's cute. Oh, wow. This is, this feels nice. Okay, this makes it a bit easier. They don't go down the ladders. Oh my god, yes! I did it! Uh, oh no. Uh, I'm stuck. Yeah, it, it's not letting me climb up. I think I'm stuck. And the bonus is about to drain. Mario, please! Mario! Jump man! Whatever the f you're going by now! Please! Let me jump! Please! Oh no! He f***ing exploded! Alright, alright, I think that's enough for now. Okay, that was- that was a pretty decent recreation. I like that. So next up is Beat Saber. Uh, there's actually two versions of this. Okay, so it looks like there's no direction boxes. You just need to focus on touching them, and this kind kind of game would probably make more sense using the VR kit. Um, that was interesting. Let's try its sequel. Let's see what it does. Okay, I see they fixed a. Oh god, it's a lot faster. I'm um, having a little bit of uh, perspective problems. I think this is why a game like this was kind of designed for VR in mind, so that you could actually see where you're hitting the boxes. Because here I can't really see it that well, unless it's like like shake the controller. Uh, well, it's still a decent job. I I have to give the person that made this credit. This is. This is pretty decent. Next up is one I'm actually kind of interested in. It's a recreation of Super Mario Run. I'm curious about how they're gonna handle that. Ooh! So I see they put it in like a letterbox thing to make it look like you're actually playing it on a, on a phone screen. And also uh, on the bottom left, you could see the YouTuber's channel name. So you could go check that out. No, Mushu, please. Thank you. I like the uh, background. The background is very well done. Wait, can you? Oh my god, you can wall jump. Oh, yes. There's. Oh, I'm walking on the rickles. Oh, there's the castle. 
Oh, this is cute. I like this. Now this one I'm really curious to play because one of my YouTuber mutuals or one of my mu YouTube followers, uh, his name is Bullblax. He's a big fan of the Pikmin series. And I wanted to test this out because while I am familiar with the Pikmin series, I haven't really got to play it much. I know this isn't gonna give me the best experience, but I still wanna try it anyway. I wanna see what this is about. I, I'm assuming, yeah, these little red boxes are the Pikmin. There we go. Now, this is very similar to the Pikmin games, although I haven't got to play them, I know what it's about. And you have to find a bunch of Pikmin and be able to use them to find new things or fight enemies and stuff. Let me try to go up there. Please tell me dropping down here was a good idea. No, it was not. Can I go back up? No, I cannot. This one looks pretty good. The Super Mario 3D Land demo. Okay, uh-oh, yeah, the Mario sprite's a bit wonky. Oh, uh, and apparently the water kills me here. Okay, what's down here? Can I punch this? Uh, I'm, oh no, I'm assuming we have to kill that. There we go. Well, this is kind of a neat concept. Um, an 8-bit Mario roaming around a 3D environment. That's a clever concept. Oh, and that was it. Now this one I was really curious by because, my god, this menu brings back memories. And that's the Nintendo DS menu. How do I touch stuff? Oh no, what am I supposed to- oh no, okay, uh, just... What am I supposed to do? What are the buttons? They don't do anything. Help me. Okay, well, uh, it, it looks great. I, I really like the effort that they put into that. Oh yes, I, I really want to try this one. I've heard about this one for weeks, but I never got to download it. It's a recreation of Flip Swap Galaxy from Super Mario Galaxy 2. I'm assuming the way this works is by one of the trigger buttons. Yes! Oh, and the pads are just as bouncy as the original. We <laughs> Ah, yes! Wait, can I still do that? Let me try. Yes, I can! Um, it still works! Now, I'm assuming as per usual, I just gotta stomp on these guys. Oh, never mind. I like this little, this little uh, gem here. I like that. Okay, now these ones I am terrified of because I think these are based on the chain chomps. And they move really fast. Oh my god! Okay, they're not gonna hurt you. Are they gonna hurt you? No, they're not gonna hurt you. <laughs> my god, yes! Yes, I did it! That was cool! That was actually a really great recreation of that. I love that. Now these last ones are actually pretty interesting to, to me. Uh, these are recreations of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild sequel. Yeah, the upcoming sequel to Breath of the Wild. Apparently somebody thought the trailer was just enough material for them to be able to recreate Breath of the Wild Part 2 or whatever they're gonna name the upcoming sequel to Breath of the Wild. This is pretty cool! Like seriously, I, the fact that this person took the time to recreate the mechanics of Breath of the Wild and make their own version of the sequel He's dead. Anyway, making the sequel out of it, you just just using the trailer alone, that's pretty cool. I think that's very fascinating. All right, so, okay, we got a free roaming camera. That is nice. That is very nice. You can run, but it uses stamina. Oh, I see. That's how the stamina bar works. It's, it's, it's getting smaller and smaller. So we'll run, jump, and glide. Oh, wow, that's so cool. Uh, so this these blue platforms teleport you up to the top, so we'll just touch it and it would jump. Wow, that is cool. This is really the most compact game builder garage game I've ever seen. I can assert my dominance. Oh, wow, this is neat. Oh, wait, I'm assuming these puddles take me all the way back down. Oh, they just teleport. Oh, I'm assuming the relic, the vinyl relic's up there. I'm assuming I have to grab onto the... Aha! Yes! Ooh, something's going on over there. Like, I, I know this is like a pretty small workspace for some people, but like, this is actually like more than enough for people to be able to be this creative. Like, holy sh**. Part one completed. Ah, okay, so that was it. It actually immediately takes you to the other part if you have that downloaded. Holy sh**. That's really cool. So you hold ZL for the shield, ZR for the arrow, uh, uh bow and arrow, and uh, the Y button for the sword. That's adorable! I love that! <laughs> Just go through that. I'm assuming I have to kill this thing. That worked. That sounds like final boss music. Holy sh- Oh, it immediately links you to part three if you downloaded that. Oh my god! Ha ha ha! Yes! I did it! Ha ha! Oh, look at that! I did it! 
Look at me go. That was actually really great. I like that. All right, so next up is a, a recreation of Kirby. This is like a Kirby engine. Oh, this is cute. Oh my God, this is great. Like, I'm surprised they didn't put more Nintendo IPs into this. Yes. Yes, let's go. All right, so the next one is actually a recreation, of, apparently a full-on recreation of P.T. I also like the little close-up view and also the fact that there, there's a, a, a fog in the middle of it. I like that. That's cute, the way they handled the clock thing. And I also like the fact that it's all first person. Okay, so... Oh, sh! What was that? The f was that? I think because of how small this is, this is, I'm assuming one of the few times where the game can actually be fully recreated. I'm assuming that, yes, <laughs> there's the, of course, the infamous baby. Uh, there was also Finite at Freddy's recreation. I sadly couldn't play that here because honestly, I don't want to because I'm, I, I really, I'm not intent to get spooked, even though I'm playing this. Oh, oh, f a gust of wind blew behind me. Jesus. F Christ. Yeah, I think this is all they've recreated. <laughs> Grand Theft Auto Garage Edition. Oh, oh my god. Somebody leaked Grand Theft Auto 6 or something? I can get in the car. I can steal it. Oh. Oh, it even has a working radio. Speed! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, there's a stack of money I can get. If I do this trick, this epic trick shot. Here we go. Epic stunts. Holy f who is that? I see there's a stack of money on top of the buildings. Oh my god, you even have a gun! <laughs> there's eight of these bundles. I got three of them. Oh, there's a free- uh, there's a store I can go into. Are you kidding me? Oh, there's even a Bob Bomb Battlefield painting. How adorable that I can go to. Are you kidding me? No! No, King Bob's dead! No! You actually have to go in here to get the money. Are you kidding me? I knew it. There was a money pot here. So that's five, I think. So let's turn on the radio. Let's see what other money I can find. Wee. Wait, what? Can I go to the moon? Do not press, huh? Well, f it. I'm going to press to see what happens. Oh, so apparently that button launched the rocket and you can get the money for there. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I've gotten seven of them. I need one more left. Guess I'll have to look up a video. Two hours later. Oh. That's what you were supposed to do. So apparently, there's actually a wall here that has a random stack of money. There it is. And there's my big treasure chest. Holy sh! that thing is huge. Oh man, look at that. That was Grand Theft Auto. Game Builder Garage Edition. That was pretty fun. Wait, how many notes were there? 507 out of 512, wow! And finally, the last game I'm gonna play here is Doom Eternal Garage. Now, uh, the person that made this also made the Doom Eternal on, uh, Nintendo Labo VR kit. So, this is, uh, a pretty decent recreation of it. Also, I really like the music, holy sh**. But yeah, wow, that was, that was quick. I genuinely thought I was gonna have a difficult time with that. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, there we go. That is all of the games that I could find for Game Builder Garage that I wanted to play in this video. I really hope you had, I really hope you enjoyed it as much as I did making it. I had a lot of fun uh, playing all of these games. And if you want to play them for yourself, the link will be in the description below for all of the game IDs as well as the programmer IDs for each of the games. And with all of that said, Thank you all so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, then be sure to hit the like button, and if you're new, the subscribe button, and the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I upload a brand new video. And if some of you have any other suggestions as to what I should discuss next, then be sure to submit them via Twitter, Discord, and in the comment section below. For now on, any submission stuff I want to do, instead of doing it through Twitter, I want to do it through my Discord server. I want there to be a lot more interactivity going on there. And with all of that said, thank you all so much for watching. I'm so happy to finally get this video done. And I'll see you in another video. Bye. Yeah.